I said I was going to do thing on range bars. Now these are two different range bars. On the left we've got Renko bars. Now some people call them Renko bricks. But I've got the candle stalks on these, which does help because what, what, how this works on the Renko side is I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and things. So what happens on the Renko is like these blocks are too It's grips. almost time. Oh, excuse me. That's my top of the hour alert, I think. Let me just turn that off. The blocks are two pips and the wicks are never, if there's a wick, it's always never four pips because the way these work is that it won't form a block and close the candle until it gets to two pips past the closing price. So therefore it can move back two pips, but if it moved back, sorry, if it moved back, like from here it's moved back two pips there and closed because it's gone past that whereas here it didn't go past and past again if you see what i mean i know it's a little bit confusing but the idea is really that it smooths out all the noise and you just think to yourself well okay i have noticed today that if you get a 20 pip move like this it nearly always pulls back 10 so that might be of interest uh, the other thing is, on the other side, this chart here, we've got what they call range bars. So each body is two pips. And it doesn't form a body until it is, I think the whole thing, hang on a minute, sorry, I'm lying there. Yeah, the whole thing, stalk and body, is two pips. So a two pip movement will generate some kind of candle. I didn't do so well with these, I'll be honest with you. The the ones I use as a, as a as one of many things I do, I look at one, two, I'm just, they're on my other screen to the me, and I look at one, two, three other charts, for actually, yeah, yeah, besides the main trading chart where I execute all the trades from, and I'm sort of using the one hour, the 15 minute, and I'm using the Renko, and I'm trading on the five minute bar. Not always with success, but I was definitely better on demo when the psychology was easy to do. <laughs> you can imagine right so these these are two pips in total whether there's a stalk or not and you can change the size of these and these are two pips body always and the stalks can be anything this anything not up to about four pips i think it is once it gets another two pips past that it actually puts a body on then and then the price is essentially or allegedly started to reverse. Look at the spread on this broker. This is um, FX Glory, by the way. Two pip spread on the euro dollar. <laughs> it's diabolical. On my live broker, I've got a spread at the moment because they've got an offer on of 0.3 of a pip, which is ADS securities. So there you go. Right, so these work in an offline chart. You'll notice this chart said it's offline. So here's how we do it. This one is... Hang on a minute, I've got two one minute chart here. That's it, right? Okay. So this one is running the range bar, which is below here. So there's a, uh, a an indicator in the, these are indicators rather than EAs as well. And this one on the one minute bar is running the Renko's. Get it? Right, okay. So yeah, let's just tile these. So that this is running this. The top ones are in the bottom one. Okay, so in here we've got an indicator. In this case, it's the Renko. Now what happens is, is you set the size of the pips. You can set these to 10 pips and all sorts. And I've even looked at them on 50 pips. Believe me, I've looked at a lot of sizes. Of a, but I find if you're scalping or you want to be, you know, if you want to be in and out quick and keep your risks down, then I find that two pips is probably ideal, really. It's because it's it's moved a fair bit by the time you get in on it and then uh, right so this is the pip size this is the risk size i don't know what the offset does i've never used it so i just leave it at zero and this is the time frame and what this does is create an offline chart with this time frame which is what we've opened here bottom left all right show the wicks true you don't have to have the wicks i like them on it shows me that the price is bouncing up so it gives it a little bit more you know, or it says it might be potentially about to reverse. You see, like this one here. Um, and then on that, emulate a line chart, online chart, which means it's live, I think. I don't actually know. I just leave it. I just put it on. That's all I do. Okay, so so once this indicator is dragged in, which we've got here, 
and these will be I'll leave the download link for these as usual so then you just go to file open offline chart and as you can see I've got a 102 do you remember that 102 and that corresponds to that there see the 102 there now I did because I've got these are both two pip time frames I've done this one slightly different so this is the range bar which is here and the indicator is here very similar setup oh by the way this is essential if you haven't got allowed DLL imports on these things don't create charts I'm pretty sure it's the same with this one if you look on this allow DLL and that's so that it can build the chart real time rather than just create a static one okay sorry back to the range bars anyway so this is the range bar allow DLL must be enabled in the common tab and then I've got the ranges too and now see I've created an output time frame of two you can put this whatever number you want that you recognize obviously you don't want to put it as 101 or sorry as 1515 in MT4 because those charts are already created by default this comment if you disable this comment it's this business here it gets rid of that and this tick so every time it creates a bar because remember there's no time on this you don't know when the candle is going to create itself this one actually plays a tick sound it goes like that <laughs> yeah it's pretty bad impression I know <laughs> right so that does that and then same again once you've created that give it a second and it'll start building a chart for you open offline and in this case it's M2 so we've got a 102 which is my Rinko bars and an M2 which is the range bars right so I don't know how you want to trade with these things but at least you know how they work now you can see how they work can't you they're not like you know this this is actual price movement you can see the candle and the wick the body's here and it's trying to form a body now if it goes high enough to here which is two pips above this body it will form a body it'll have to go 2.1 pips in actual fact because it's got to get higher than two to create the body and if it did it would create a body so if it was carrying on up here it would create a green body in this case but these Renko charts oh last thing is you can use any template you like if you want on them you can have your favorite template whatever you want to put on there I got a million things I've got honestly just way too much stuff whatever whatever you want to use on there you just use it oh, I don't even know what I use actually these days I because I use all of it I use this on the one hour this I don't use that uh, this I don't use that that's not there anymore this is an old demo I don't use that and this is one of my uh, uh, buy zones by the looks that I put in for some reason historically but oh, we're on a I can't go back that far because I haven't got much history in the bars so that's all you've got but anyway you use your favorite template that's what I'm trying to say you can use any template you want you can use whatever suits you you can put other indicators on like uh, like that load of rubbish which is uh, some kind of momentum thing that actually by the time it comes I fell asleep so I went back to scalping with just basic price action on the five minute uh, I've got this which is a PZ swing thing that looks all right doesn't it <laughs> I've got that much rubbish honestly and none of it works none of it really works. you're waiting you just got to get in make sure you stop losses you know a, a loss you can handle which is which is a big thing money management is is massive so what's that oh this is a load of rubbish the super scalper you sell it here and you buy it here so you would have sold this here and you get out or buy it here oh what do you know and if you'd have bought it here I don't know what time this changes color but that would have been all right wouldn't it and then if you'd have sold it there but look how far down this is by the time you sell it you see if you got these Renko don't forget these are Renko bars so if you got these Renko bars and you find something that's well worth doing for goodness sake share it with me because I'm always looking for the per the holy grail that we all know doesn't exist by the way anyway look I'm going to go because it's Friday night you know I finished my week this week I've done all right I've not done 
I'd like to have done better, you know, but it is what it is. That's trading.